Bruce Lee's capabilities have always been a subject of skepticism, primarily due to the lack of compelling and direct evidence to prove his strength. Regarding Bruce Lee himself, I personally believe he was someone who loved to show off. We can observe that whether in movies or in some martial arts demonstrations, he enjoyed flaunting his physique and striking poses. Even during the Vietnam War when he participated in the U.S. military enlistment physical examination, which was clearly against China's stance, although he ultimately failed the medical examination, he still left behind many photos in military attire, and they were all taken quite handsomely. Thus, for someone who enjoys expressing and highlighting himself, if he had a head-on confrontation with a master and one, yet didn't leave any records, it's hard to convince people. What's more, among the mouths of Bruce Lee's fans, there are more than one or two masters who were defeated by Bruce Lee, but even so, we can't find even a second of video material. Of course, the fan's explanation is that he practiced street fighting, where a single move could be fatal, which is not suitable for the ring, and he himself disdained to step onto the ring. Therefore, when strength cannot be proven, it will inevitably lead to much questioning. Faced with skepticism, it seems that the fans have no better means than to curse. They can provide evidence sufficient to prove their arguments. Even some things they once regarded as solid evidence were later proven to be fake, such as an unkaku hitting ping pong balls. So, given these circumstances, instead of discussing the negative aspects of Bruce Lee, how are we supposed to believe that Bruce Lee was a master of practical combat, a top-tier fighter?